the Abraham Accords fourth anniversary trade continues to grow. This is based on a recent report in Newsmax by Mayor Ben Shabbat and David Aronson. Following the tragedies of October 7th, the question was whether the Middle East countries that had made peace with Israel under the Trump administration's Abraham Accords would continue to progress. Frankly, these accords were driven by economic desires, not because of the realization that we are all humans, just different. The news is pretty good. Of course, the sad part is that due to terrorism for the involved countries, moving goods through Israel is now safer than moving them through Lebanon, the Suez Canal, and the Red Sea. These countries need to keep that trade moving. They've got to keep their economies afloat also. The Newsmax report cites a new report from the Abraham Accords Peace Institute. In the first half of 2024, there was a 7% increase in trade between Israel and the UAE, a 709% increase in trade between Israel and Bahrain, a 64% increase in trade between Israel and Morocco, and a 53% increase in trade between Israel and Egypt. There was a footnote that while the possible agreement with Saudi Arabia has not directly moved forward. And apparently, uh, Saudi Arabia is keeping it under consideration for one thing to settle down. <laughs>